Our business has been here since 1930, and the good times and the bad times. The bank has always stepped up and supported us, helps us prosper. And when we prosper, other things prosper. Even as a small child, I remember I knew where First Bank was. And of course, it wasn't here where it is now, but it was down, uh, way down where Brenda's place is today. My parents all trusted it, and I've always trusted it too. And as a child, I had to take 10% of my dollar that I got every week and to put it in the bank. So that's what I did. That's how my first thoughts about First Bank come, a place where people trusted. It is still a good place where people trust. Our company has used this bank for 92 years, since 1930. I've got handwritten checks in pencil at my office in 19, from 1934. That's how long we've used this bank. The bank stood behind me and where some banks wouldn't have done it. They took a leap of faith and it was very important for me and learned how to build these relationships. We're very fortunate to have First Bank and Miller and his staff in, in this community. I think the bank's legacy has been that of continuity. We've obviously been here 100 years where there have been seven presidents of the bank over that 100 years, which means we've had a continuity of employees and of management of the bank. And while many banks have come and gone in Florida, we've been able to sustain that time by being good stewards, by having a family approach to our employees and what we do in the community. Uh, you know, it's a trite saying, but you know, what's good for the community is good for us. And that has certainly been true. And so we have tried to do everything we can to help our community grow, help our businesses grow. And in the meantime, we've grown along with it. Well, one of our core values is it's an honor to bank. And I honestly believe that First Bank and especially the people at First Bank have helped to make banking an honorable profession. We are in the uh, stewardship business and First Bank has been and will continue to be a good corporate citizen. We are a pillar of the communities in which we serve. We strive for that everywhere. And, uh, and I honestly believe that the communities are better off because First Bank is there and they will prosper and excel as a result of our presence. The challenge into the future is to maintain our legacy. You know, it's, it's really humbling and really honoring to be a part of the 100-year legacy of the bank today. And so the key challenge is keeping the focus on our execution, on our goals, on our values, and not to get distracted from that mission of service, of stewardship, and just execute as great bankers. And uh, that will propel our legacy. In fact, we won't have to be worried about our legacy as long as we keep our focus on the proper values and executing and serving our customers. I have seen the bank grow from 11 employees in a single facility to 106 employees in seven branches. We have grown from teller machines that look like cash registers to a computer in every workstation and online banking for our customers. As the bank grows, so has our footprint within each of the communities that we serve. One of the things I most enjoy about the bank is the encouragement from all employees to participate in community service and activities. The bank tries very hard and all the employees try very hard to be a part of the community and to be active in every aspect of, of what goes on in this town. It's been a wonderful experience to learn more about banking and to learn more about how the bank helps the community. It's been a great experience, a lot of wonderful people, a lot of wonderful employees, which I've come to know. And it's just been a pleasure all the way around to be a, a, a member of the board of the First Bank. We're very fortunate to have First Bank. People always went to First Bank because it was a place that we could trust. Anything that they needed, First Bank was there. Here's to wishing the bank another successful 100 years.